Hello everyone, my name is Cinnamon Toast Ken. And right now, we are witnessing what our character described as, what was it? Manly desire, his dream? I don't, I don't know, his, his destiny maybe? We're going to the pool and, and, and we, we get this scene, this is where we cut off last time. Look at those two in the back, she's just like, oh. She's just staring into the abyss of boob. So anyway, let's continue on with this, this riveting story, this plot. Nya ha ha, they're, they're too big, Smoogie. Do you mind if I touch them? What? What? I, I mean, mean, it's... It's embarrassing oh. if you touch them. Oh, look at that. It's, it's even voice acted. What's wrong, Himiko? N nothing. <laughs> What's wrong is she stares. She stares and it's, it's sad. It just be a waste of magic to grow them that big anyway. Yeah. Oh, I understand now. Yeah. Don't worry. They're nicely shaped. Beauty is way better than size anyway. Oh my god. They're just gonna, like, appraise each other's boobs. Ah. Fantastic. Dot, dot, dot. So this is what Angie was planning. A party a party for the student council, which is also a cult. It's the cult of Atua. Anyway, I saw it. And then immediately questioned the morality of my actions. I just have to keep quiet. Keep it inside. Keep it together. I leveled up off that. Transfer students. Oh, yeah. We also got a book that apparently can revive the dead of someone that's passed. Like, within, within the, the school, the, the game. So we can bring someone back into the killing game so they can be killed again, basically. So many heavy conversations this morning. No. Shouldn't just sit here and complain. There's, there's, there has to be something I can do. I have to find something. Free time! Ooh, where my waifu's at? I got to get me some waifu action. Yeah, let's go see Miss Potty Mouth herself. Hey, girl, where you at, Mew? There you are. I almost don't even want to talk to you. Resurrecting the dead, me messes from the dead. <laughs> Everyone's gone nuts now. Should I hang out with me for a while? Yeah. What was that? Uh, of course, there'd be no way I'd ever believe kind of unscientific bullcrap. All right, Mew, it's okay. It's okay, girl. Despite her tough words, she spent most of the day clinging to me. She's so needy. So I ended up growing a little closer to Mew. Would you like to give her a present? Definitely. Let's see what to give her. Let's give her the fully automated shaved ice cream machine. See if she likes that. It's fully automated. Dang, Poochie, you actually brought me something nice. All right, I'll show you an invention of mine. I bet you're so thankful you're about to cry. You're not interested. Why? Hey, Poochie. You ready? Huh? Ready. What was that? Huh? Don't look at me like he just blew a <laughs> blew up a dove with a rocket launcher. I, Miu Iruma, the gorgeous girl genius, am going to devote my time to you. <laughs> and you'll like be entertain you like entertain me in return, right? You'll leave me like 100% satisfied, right? Huh? I don't know about that. Huh? Are you saying you invited me without making any plans? You mother. Ah, typical. <laughs> when men see the the heat I'm packing, they get nervous and stuff. <laughs> Since you, you came up, bought me, you caught me in a good mood. I'll show you my inventions. Follow me. Without waiting for an answer, Mew strutted towards her lab. Wow. I don't think I've been in here yet. Like I don't think I've been in this room, have I? Mew's uh, her research lab. Uh, you brought me here. Booyah! Uh, now, the first invention I'll show you is this. A sensor? Wow, you actually figured it out it's a sensor, but can you guess what kind of sensor? I don't know. That's what I thought. It's called a, this baby a, a hookup counter. Hookup counter? It counts how many people you <laughs> you fudged or how many have fudged you. No point at me. Too late. See, let's see the results, shall we? No freaking way. You kidding me? What did it say? What did it say? <laughs> now to the next invention. Oh man, I wonder what it said. Me had a machine that looked like an arm with a boxing glove in, in her uh, fist. Um, What's this? <laughs> Auto puncher that punches you for telling terrible dirty jokes. Huh? Why is the name so literal? Who cares? Sometimes I'm too lazy to think of names. I'm constantly cranking out new inventions, so you can't expect me to name them all. Ha, I mean, virgin. <laughs> do you name each of your little dudes that after you blast them out into the <laughs> to a tissue? Bam! Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, it punched her. You got punched pretty hard. Is she okay? That was sudden still. Uh, that was a good punch. I guess she's fine. <laughs> All right. Sorry to cut your fun short, but I got more inventions to show. What is it this time? It's like a ray gun from a science fiction movie. <laughs> Let's be able to teleport underwear in a flash. I call it the going commando gun. Huh? What? <laughs> Just point this light in a pair of underwear you want and send it anywhere you want. What do you think? Cool crap, right? Huh? You could teleport objects? Out of my way! Not all objects, just underwear. Just underwear. She's wasting this incredible technology on underwear. 
What do you think? Bow before my formidable talent. Hmm. I don't know what to say. This is all very odd. What? Don't look at me like that with those cold eyes. I just wanted to show this stuff to you. Did that upset her? No, it's, it's really creative. Really good stuff. Um, really? Okay. Yeah, I think it's good that you have so much fun with your inventions. <laughs> yeah, you think so? It makes me happy. Yeah, my inventions are... I fucking <laughs> My inventions are always awesome without even saying it. But even geniuses like to be praised. You seem to understand that pretty well. <laughs> You know, you're pretty all right. I'll treat you real good from now on. Just make sure my technique doesn't blow your mind too hard. <laughs> you treat me good. So you're not going to test anything on me, right? Yeah, friendship fragment. Sweet. <laughs> oh, man. That was, uh... I thought that was going to be pretty intense, honestly. But we made it. My very feeling a bit scrambled when I turned to my room. I got more free time though. I wonder if I can take two dates in one day. All right, so I got me a, uh, I got me a little bit more. I got me, I got me a couple more dollars. So I want to get these bondage boots. Yeah, I want to get a crystal bangle. Yeah, and now I have a thousand. I have a thousand to use. Next time I come in here, or I could just use mono coins, I guess, to buy some too. So I could buy another gift. So we've decided that uh, I can't, I can't get Samugi to go. All out, you know, because she's she's part of the cult right now. She's she's drinking the Kool-Aid. Let's go. Ooh, I could talk to her. I could try to make her my new waifu. Let's, let's see if I can go hang out with Mew again. Let's see if it'll let me. It may not let me. It may not let me do two in one day. What was that? I don't give two squirts of pee about this student counts. I'm not gonna do nothing with me. Let's start to roll together. It's fine with me. Should I hang out with her for a while? It might be safe to ask. Yeah, let's hang out there for a while. What was that? Get your diary looking face out of here. She kicked me out? Or should we hang out together? Spencer down to me was verbally abused and she calmed down eventually. But did we grow closer? Somebody ended up growing closer to Mew. Hey, I did. Definitely give her a present. Girl, I got some I got some boots for you, girl. Oh yeah, you're gonna like these boots. Fit for a queen. Yeah. What? Uh, what? what? Like, how did you know I wanted this? Um, Don't tell me you're in that into me. <laughs> well, I guess a perma version like you can't help but think about all day. Get, help, help but think about all day long. About me all day long. That's probably what it's supposed to say. <laughs> I'm in a fan freaking tastic mood today. Hmm. Sure looks that way. What? Hey, well, you got a grumpy face? <laughs> I know, you're all plugged up, huh? <laughs> Let me give you something to get things moving. Why must be in such a good mood. This is a little creepy. Hey. Come on, Suchi, come to a research lab. Completely ignore my confusion. Mew headed to the lab. All right, let's go to the lab. This is where things go down. Well then. Let's get started. Uh, started. Um. Start what? <laughs> Clean that crap out of your ears, poo itchy. What? That being said. Feast your eyes and lace invention from the genius inventor Mew Iruma. You showed me. Are these? Sunglasses? What was that? Not just any sunglasses. These have built-in erotic animations. <laughs> movies appear behind the lenses so you can watch dirty movies anytime, anywhere. What a great invention! <laughs> As a bonus, I include a video of me. What? <laughs> just that uh, hot, right? Here, use this too. It'll get. I bet this will get your blood moving. Uh, um, what is this? You know. It's a recording of my moans. Huh? Ow. I'm, 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 I'm scratching my leg. Okay, I'm not doing anything down here. <laughs> what? On your knee. I record a voice app for you. You're welcome. <laughs> Especially like you can never have a chance to hear this voice. Ha ha ha. Is this grounds to file a sexual, sexual harassment complaint? I got other stuff for you, but I don't feel like explaining it all. Just put it to good use, K. Okay? Everything in the box you gave me was clearly for that purpose. Out of my way. Be happy. I made all this stuff for you. Huh? For me? Sure. Don't men need this kind of stuff? You can't get anything done if you're always plugged up. It's weird to be handed the stuff out of nowhere, whether I need it or not. I'm a bit taken back by how nice is, how, my, how nice me was being, though. Thank you. Uh, thank you? <laughs> See, being honest is so bad now, is it? I like how honest you are since it's you. Sure. I guess I could share my secret with you. Huh? Your secret? All right, let's hear it. Okay. Right, unless she's just making a joke. What? what, really? You'll hear my secret? Why is she being shy? She brought it up. Booyah! All right, that's a great attitude. Now we're talking. <laughs> we'll work out the details later. 
Okay. Okay. I wonder what her secret is. She's probably the virgin here. You just clearly a good mood, a very good mood as I return to my room. Ooh, I do all these inventions anyway. He's gonna be, he's gonna use them. You know he is. Shoot, sucker! He could be using all the inventions. All right, ding dong, bing bong. It's nighttime. Yeah. Actually, oh, Montaro is out cold, being punished. Monodam is punishment. So we'll be taking a break for making announcements. Oh, Monodam and I are on break. We'll leave the rest to Daddy. This just stands there. He can't believe his monocubs have taken over. That announcement didn't mention it, but I suppose it's nighttime. Time to train, but is Kaido okay? Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong! Uh, the doorbell won't stop ringing, I suppose it's fine. The doorbell ringing, maybe I'll wait the door. Find. Who did I find? Oh! Hello! I expected it to be you or Kaido, but I'm more pleasantly surprised it's you. Hey girl, how you doing? You know, you know. <laughs> but no? Okay. Sorry. Huh? Maki, Kato's resting. He says he's not feeling well and that we should train without him. Huh? Just the two of us? Jeez. It's pretty thoughtless of him to bug me to train with you guys and then flake out. But... Well, he did say he wasn't feeling well. Why are you making excuses for him? You're right. No, I guess you're right. Mm -hmm. Let's get this over with. I don't- I didn't come here to make small talk with you. So we're really gonna do this? Training just the two of us? And that's how Maki and I ended up training together. Do I get a friendship fragment? I like how our training is doing push-ups. That's all we do is push-ups. Hey. Hey, what's up? God, my leg itches real bad. After talking to Mew, ah, oh, yeah. What is it? Why are you training? I don't think a detective needs to do this. Probably not, but overthinking things and worrying about what I need to do. When I'm with Kaito, I feel like all of that stuff just fades away. Do you look up to that idiot? Heck no. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it looking up to him. It's just that I've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive. I think that's exactly what I've been missing all this time. I never realized until now how gross it is to hear men talk about being manly. <laughs> Maki sprang up and said, Hey. 100, I'm done. Maki seemed nonchalant. She brushed off her hands. <laughs> You're really fast as usual. So what? I used to be forced to do push-ups until I passed out. 100 push-ups is nothing. Huh? <sighs> Not Kaido. I still don't understand what you mean. That's true. I'm a bit jealous of how carefree he is, even if he's useless. I was taught to only value the essentials. I was forced to abandon anything non-essentials so they could mold me as they saw fit. Well... After everything they did to me, I sometimes wonder what I am anymore. I didn't ask to become this way, it just happened to me. After what I've been through, I'm still even am I still even human? Even Kibo acts more human than me. Because. But I had no choice but to. This is stupid. Why am I talking to you about this? You can't help me. But... Uh, I'm kind of the same way. Well... I never once wanted to be a detective. I actually thought it wasn't too, gr too great of a job. Uncovering people's secrets for money is the worst. Okay. But now I feel completely different. It's going to help my friends. I'll do it. And if Kaede and, and Kato have helped me to see things... And Kaido and Kato have helped me to see things that way. So what? I didn't ask to hear your story. Well, I, mean, I didn't ask to hear yours either. Skank? Get out of my face. I'll see you tomorrow, Maki. She didn't reply and kept All walking. Right. Still worried about Kaido. He seems off since this morning. Hope that's nothing serious. Don't be following me. Go away. Yaha! Welcome back, Maki. You finally came. Cult Master's here. Jeez. You know, Maki, it's not okay to walk around at nighttime. Yeah. Come on, I'm not violating any school regulations, am I? <laughs> Monokuma's regulations don't matter. But Karumi's crime happened during nighttime, right? What? If no one was allowed to walk around at nighttime, that case would have ha wouldn't have happened. I see the student council is trying to limit all nighttime activity. Well, limit? So basically, you want to take our freedom away? Is that it? My my. You're so odd, Maki. What's more important than free uh, freedom than a person's life? Uh. Mm, we need to remove all worry and doubt, so evidence, so everyone can be peaceful, uh, live a peaceful uh, life yeah. here. Because that's what a two says. Uh, that's what a two says. Uh, yeah. A two says. Yeah. People are afraid of you, Maki, so we prefer if you were more careful, Meow. Mm. It's for Peace of Academy. Sure. Whatever. What's the point of human life? Oh no, Terminator! Per Terminator Monodam! They're born as useless babies who can't do anything. And seven years later, they're useless old people who can't do anything. Hairless, toothless, wearing diapers, and able to take care of themselves. In the end, it's also meaningless.
Man. <laughs> Bing bong. And there he is, just still hanging out. Not saying anything. Must be morning time, though. The morning announcement is a little creepy. I don't like wow. this at all. I suppose I'll go to the dining hall. <laughs> Let's go to the dining hall, girl. Yeah. Oh, what you want, you jelly? Because I'm not asking you out for dates. Probably. Okay. Good morning. Hey. Are you headed to the dining hall? Same here. I'm too hungry to do anything. But now I'm sad. With Karumi dead, we can't eat her delicious meals anymore. <laughs> I'd give anything to taste of mom's miso soup again. No. Um, Karumi's not your mother, though. Oh, yeah. You think I don't know that? All right. Well, see you later. Maki. Maki. Hey. Wait, you tone that down a little bit, guy. Okay, what do you, what do you no. mean? If you don't know, then don't worry about no. it. Well, if you say it like that, it makes me worried. No. I got stopped by the student council while I was going back to my room last night. They told me I can't walk around during nighttime huh? anymore. Well, that's not breaking the rules, is it? Okay. It says because Karumi committed her crime during nighttime. <sighs> and then Angie gave her usual to a speech. Well. We couldn't. We shouldn't ignore Angie. Losing our freedom may seem fine for now, but That's soon enough. True, but uh, I don't, I don't like that. I, I feel, I, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to lose a waifu. Not this one in particular, but uh, but my, my other waifu. I'm afraid I'm going to lose her with the way things are going. Uh, hopefully not, though. Hopefully not. Uh, student council's ruining everything. Resurrection. Oh, yeah, we still got the resurrection to go through as well. The moment I entered the dining hall, I heard an angry shout fill the room. Don't screw around! Quit messing around! Don't just do whatever you want! Huh? Mm, but I have a Tua's Blessing! Oh wait, right. I forgot her voice already. Yeah, we have a Tua's Blessing, and I'll throw any degenerates who won't shut up about it, meow! I know you claim to be a student council of some such, but this is going too far, yes? No. As we said before, this is all to end the killing game and keep the peace. Why are you guys yeah. fighting? These guys did something unbelievable. They blocked the manhole that leads to the underground. Mm. Mm. Going to put heavy rocks on top of manholes so no one can use it anymore. With my magic. I've could have made it disappear with my magic, but I decided to let Ghana handle it this time. Um. Why would you do that? Because. Because the manhole is a reminder of your desire to leave this place. Oh God. We don't want any another tragedy to happen again, like what happened to Kai Kaede. Listen up. You said Angie, we need to get all about the underground tunnel and start fresh, meow. Don't screw around. Hey, she just does whatever she wants without even asking you our opinion. Certainly. It's certainly important to hear everyone's opinion, but if we did, nothing would get done. You're right. That's why we just decided to obey the student council president. If it's Angie, then she'll make a right decision. She can hear it too, after all. Uh. <laughs> this is so dumb. Man, she's a lost cause. Plain Jane's like her totally rubes when it comes to cults. Thank you. Smoogie, thank you for your fantastic speech. I was truly moved by it. Thank you for always supporting me. Atua smiles on you for your plain and simple service. I've been wondering, does Atua have red eyes and hair as black as night? Atua has whatever features you desire. A red-eyed, black-haired god. Ah, oh, what a cool god I have watching me. When can I meet him? I want to meet him as soon as possible. Atua exists beyond time itself. But I'm certain you will feel his presence very soon. <sighs> Precious! This is why, this is why, this is why I can't get them panties. This is it, this is why. But I also need to get Max, not, it's not just about the panties, guys. It's also about the special ability you get for maxing out your friendship. And if a two is blocking me like this, then a two has got to go. We got, a two has got to get on out of here. Hmm. Clothes like these can be really annoying if you get on their bad side. But but, but why are you guys so mad over the manhole being covered? The truth is, is it cause you guys want to use it to escape? You still haven't given up on leaving here? Ew. You haven't given up? Oh. You haven't given up, Meow? Huh? What the heck's wrong with you guys? The student council cannot ignore that it seems very... We must tighten our control. What? Tight, are you calling me loose? That reminds me. You were in the computer room pa past nighttime, weren't you, Mew? What? So what if I was? By the way. So was Maki. She didn't need to go back to her room until she didn't go back to her room until it's past nighttime, meow. Hey. Shuichi, you too, right? Uh, yeah. Huh? Jeez, this isn't good. If your life was in disarray, your mind and body will be too. Cause Atua says so. Atua is right. We must forbid everyone from the student uh but the student council from walking around at nighttime. Huh? What? Stop it! What what, do, what did I what did I have none of your what do I do with none of your freaking business? Nope. 
No, as long as everyone still wants to leave, that's not acceptable. However, Why is the student council exempt from your rules? That's blatantly unfair, yes? Uh, I'm not worried about the student council. They don't want to leave anymore. Mm. That's right. Why would we need to go outside anyway? Here we have food, clothing, shelter, wonderful friends, and best of all, the Tua. <laughs> What else do you need? It's, it's not good to be greedy, you know. <laughs> Everyone in the student council is so divine. Always messing around. Don't be stupid. Are you telling me you guys are here to do, and stay here and do nothing? That's enough. Like, like heck I will. I ain't even gone to space yet. Are you all fighting? Um, I don't think so. I think that maybe they're not actually fighting. That's right. Yeah, and even if they were fighting, it looks like a friendly one. Huh. What are you here for? We're busy right now, Meow. We want you to get even closer with each other. That's so we brought this. Oh. A flashback light. It's part of it's part of our used flashback light to restore a new memory and become better friends by talking about it with each other plan. Yeah. I've stuffed way too many blows. Wait, I've suffered way too many blows to the head to remember the plan that long. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see that. Suddenly, Angie grabbed the flashbulb light from his hands and she broke it. Yep. That's what I thought. She's freaking insane dictator cult leader now. She threw on the ground and stomped it relentlessly. decided that we will not use flashback lights anymore. What? W why? Because the flashback lights only restore our memories of the outside world. But we don't need those memories anymore. We realize now that we don't belong in the outside world. We belong here, at the Ultimate Academy. If you don't use the flashback light, our plan is a bust. Hey. What are you gonna do, Matadam? <laughs> He ran away. Hey, Mama damn wait. So long. Farewell. Mm. I mean, if that's not like a sign that she's gonna die soon, I don't know what is. By Anora. Wait. Angie, what are you doing? Oh dear. We could have remembered something that ref about the funeral of the ultimate hunt. That's not right. There's no re there's no reason we're all that all that. We're not returning to the outside world. What? Yeah, it's pointless now. Always messing around. Why, you've gone way too far. Even if you want to stop the killing game, you're going way too far! Sorry, sorry but you should take that up with the Tua. Oh, man. Jeez, I don't think you're sorry at all. So, do you have a plan for the you-know-what? Oh. Oh, you mean the resurrection trial? Oh, we have a plan for that. What? What, I knew it. what are you planning? Because. Just a necessary precaution. The more friends we have, the more fulfilling our lives will be. Huh? Mm-hmm. A necessary precaution. Uh. Uh, what if we go to another time limit motive? What if, what if we get another time limit motive like the one that Rontaro, the guy Rontaro killed? Oh, yeah. Shouldn't we have a sacrifice prepared just in case? Uh, um, I mean, if someone has to die, we should volunteer someone we resurrected. What is it? You're going to resurrect someone just to kill them all over again? <laughs> you have some cruel plans for someone who wants to stop the killing game? Uh, Life cannot always be fun and smiles. The two of us must make difficult, cruel decisions. But, Even but... cool decisions. We must submit to it to his will. We're if we're to live a peaceful school life. Yes. Atua is obsolete. Yeah. If Atua says so, there's nothing we can do about it. Mm. It's just like Atua says. Dot dot dot. What? Are you serious about this? Did you forget the motive for the killing game? The thing's a motive for the killing game? Okay, what do you what do you what's wrong with you? You're looking worse and worse. Yep, yep. That motive that motive is that motive is no concern to us as long as you cast aside your desire to escape. Oh, yeah. By the way, who are you going to resurrect? What? What kind of stupid question is that? Uh, mm, after discussing the matter with the two of the transfer student we will revive is... Says so. Rontaro Amami. Huh? Rontaro? Because... Well, we simply cannot resurrect convicted murderers such as Kaede and Kurumi, nor a criminal like Ryoma who violated the rules against sharing one's motive video, which leaves Rontaro the only one who would be used, will be used to the student council. Sure, Ron Tar was the only one who knew about the ultimate hunt. I'm gonna bring him back. Hmm. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for everyone anyone? Yeah, the stoner voice, I remember. No, no, this is impossible. It's not gonna happen. He's dead. 
Kai, they killed him. Dear, dear. Oh my, it's already so late. It's already so late. I need to get going now. I must pray to it to him and begin preparations for the ritual. You're right. It's time to pray to handsome Atua. Well, then let's go, meow. meow. Bye, Inara. God, I hate her so much. With Angie leading them, the student council strolled out of the room. What is it? She acts like she's carrying out to his will, but this is her will, isn't it? However, even so, we cannot defy her right now. Extreme faith is frightening indeed. Hey. Then it's all out war. Then it's all out war against the student council. Six versus six. We can win this. <laughs> also, we have the assassin on our side, so let's have her kill them nice and quick. No. Uh, no, we have to resolve this peacefully. I see. Sure, that'd be great, but I don't hear anyone coming up with a plan to end this peacefully. By the way. Uh, what about you, Kaido? You've been quiet this whole time. I bet you have some great ideas. Huh? You say something? Oh. oh, someone was zoning out. God, there's something that doesn't seem right. What's wrong with you, ho? You poisoned? Um. Kaido, what's wrong? You feeling okay? Uh, it's nothing. I just feel a chill is all. I'll rub some spit on it. It'll feel better. What? Rub spit on what exactly? Yeah. Anyway, there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. There's no way. It's just not possible. Uh, no, I need to stop these chills. Huh? My bad. My bad. I'm going back to my room. He's sick. Kaido left an unsteady feet to go back to his room. What is it? This is about. Is he getting sick? Mm. We were just talking about that cult stuff. Maybe he's possessed. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about that guy. Seem to be enjoying this. The rest of us left the dining hall and went back to our rooms. This is just an unfortunate turn of events. Sandy told us to, to give up, but I have no intention of doing so. My goal is the same Kai days. Get out of here with everyone. And that means I need to do something. Free time! Yeah, boy! I can go see my waifu, my, my new waifu some more because old waifu doesn't want anything to do with me now. Hey, girl. I got free time. How you doing? <laughs> this computer is pretty awesome. No matter what I do, it always responds very sensitively. Should I hang out with me for a while? Sure should. What was that? Huh? F screw that! I get way more spending time with this computer than you. You want to be useful? Bring me some food. I haven't eaten anything since this morning. I can bring you some food. I brought me some food and got to spend time with her as a reward. <laughs> I got the ice cream maker. I got the ultimate work chair. I wonder if she, she want that? You want the ultimate workstation? You never want to give up. Who said it would be danger to become obese? You want this? What was that? Well, I, I, I wanted this so bad. <laughs> Not bad, Permaversion. When do you plan to slip some some fliff between these big? <laughs> <laughs> man, man, man. Well, if you're tugging it to me every day, I guess I can let that slide. Sure. Oh, Shuichi, you came to hear my secret, didn't you? D uh, didn't you? You're the first person I've ever shared this with, so it might come. I might have some trouble saying it right. He's acting strangely. It's something important. You know. I'll just tell you straight up. To be honest, I, I'm not a normal person. Oh, good. You're aware of it. Yeah, sure. An ultimate. You look like a normal person to me. You look like a normal person to me. <laughs> <laughs> so you've fallen for it. Well, I can't say I blame you. My terrifying secret definitely works to my advantage. You know. Anyway, you probably won't believe me, but back in the day, I used to be boring, and remarkable girl with no talent at all. <laughs> One day, I got in a real accident, ended up in a coma, real life, and death type crap. Anyway, after the surgery, I barely managed to regain consciousness. And ever since, I've been chock full of ideas, all kinds of inventions. I've had the bra I have had the brains, skills, and physical talent to make those inventions a reality. That's weird, isn't it? I mean, think about it. It's weird, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, weird. That being said. So, I've come to the conclusion that I am, in fact, an augmented human. Huh? An augmented human? Sure. That's right, the surgery augmented me somehow. That's how I survived the coma. Wait. That can't be the case. You're definitely human, Mew. Sure. Sure, I do look human. I do I do normal human stuff like eat and take craps, but I mean, look at Kibo. If someone can make a robot that passes for a human, I then it wouldn't be weird if I was augmented human. <laughs> this is amazing. Huh? So this is something to get excited about? Sure. Of course, superpowers are within my reach, or I should say literally within me. That's it. I've got the power inside me. You better start cutting me open. Wait. Well, you would die. <laughs> and I'm a human. I'll take more than a disembowelment to kill me. She's raising them death, them death flags. I hope she doesn't get disemboweled. You might be bizarre, but she's still human. <laughs> I just gotta jam this baby into me. 
And you brandished a wrench and swung it in the air. Wait, stop! I frantically grabbed her hand to stop her. Ooh, wait! It doesn't matter if you're augmented or not. You're a living, breathing human being, Mew. So you can't hurt yourself like this. What? Shuichi. What are you saying? What, what are you saying? How, how else can I satisfy my lust for research? No. I can't let you do this, Mew. Uh, why? Why are you looking at me like that? Hmm. What? Stop it. Don't touch me. Oh. Mew. <laughs> Music report cards been updated based on your experience there. Yeah, boy. Level up. You left in a hurry. I watched her go and return to my room. Hope she's okay. Hope she's not doing something stupid. It's still time until nighttime. More free time! Yeah, boy! What else do I have that she likes? I got more ice cream machines, and apparently she likes those a lot. Alright, let's hang out. What? Are you really that pent up? Cause I'm not that easy, you know. Uh spend some time with the Mew, she, but she seemed seemed oddly distant. Here, take some barriers, girl. Well, I've wanted this for a while. I never expected you to have it, Puichi. Why didn't you give this to me sooner? Jeez, you just wasted my precious time. Uh, I was worried about Mew and her augment story, so I went to talk to her. She seemed down. She must be thinking hard about something. Look at her. She's just like, oh, God. Uh, um, Mew? What? what? Don't talk down to me. Because. I'm worried about you. Uh -huh. Worried? You worried about me? Her voice cracked. I don't know. I'm fine. I'm not that upset. Remember, you were talking about being augmented before. Um, but so what? Even if I'm a human, it's not your problem. Okay. I suppose you're right. To me, you're still Mew. Why? How can you say that? Hmm. Your face is going red. Is something wrong? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, nothing's wrong. Boy, it's hot. Aren't you hot? I'm hot. Guess I gotta take my clothes off now. Isn't that right? Okay, off they go. <laughs> what? Huh? Wait, what? Out of my way! I'm letting it all hang out. Wait! Stop! Th what? Then you take it off. Take off your clothes. Huh? Why? Ah! Come on, just whip it out already! <laughs> my perfect proportions. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So thirsty. She is the most thirsty character I've ever seen in a game. No. What are you talking about? Hey, hands off! Uh, 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 uh. What's wrong? Are you sick? You should get some rest. Are you worried about something? Um. Huh? Switch, you blockhead. What does a genius like me need to worry about? What? Would it be Would it be weird if I was worried, though? No. It, it wouldn't be weird at all, me. Even geniuses worry about things. Um. But it's just a heartache. Huh? What? Uh, uh, I mean, what, what I meant was, ah, uh, heartache. I see. So that's what's wrong. Yeah, I'm falling. Well, she's so upfront about it. She's just, yes, I, I, I confirm this. Yeah. Yes, that's it. That's it. Huh? What me? Huh? You said it first that you're worried about me because you're in love with me. No. I never said that. What? You didn't. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Shuichi, huh? read the situation here. Ah! His <laughs> face somehow got red, and she ran off wailing. Did you just confess her love to me? Friendship! I mean, okay, the what and, and, and a lot of these games, there's always like one character that's like super forward and like easy. And I, I think that the the people that made this game probably expected all the thirsty the thirsty <laughs> weeaboos to be like, yeah, let me let me talk to her, and then to be like, woo, you know, it, uh, that's 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 what I think is going on, because this just seems like it's it's too it's, it's too upfront. Me was long gone. I returned my returned to my room dumbfounded. What should I say when I see her again? Uh, I hope I do see her again. I hope she doesn't die. Maybe I'll get one more free time. I doubt it, because looks like dude's pretty sick. Monokuma still hanging out, just sitting there. Anyways, this was nighttime. Angie established a curfew at nighttime. I wonder what's That's will happen true. in training. I should go see if Kato has Kato has said anything about this. I'm worried about him. Right, let's see what they're up to at night. See if they're sneaking around right now. Anybody sneaking around out here? Let me feel a bit better. Right about to ring the doorbell. The door to his room opened and came out. Maki! Yeah! She's oh. checking on him. Oh, Maki. Is she mad? Uh, okay. Oh, hey, bro. Perfect timing. Gotta apologize to you, too. Well, he told me he was going to skip today's training, too. I knew it. He still doesn't feel well? My bad. 
It's pathetic, but I haven't been able to eat or sleep much since yesterday. I think I'll get better if I just rest a little longer, you know? Okay. Yeah, sure, Kato. Do what you have to do. Yeah. We'd have to reschedule our training sessions either way, come to think of it. The student council said being out at nighttime is prohibited, right? Uh -huh. Well, I told you. if you're feeling sick, that's one thing, but I don't want you to change the tra training schedule. You don't need to do that. See. Really? But no. I don't want to skip it, so I'll just be the two of us training today. Huh? Really? She's making friends. She wants this. She's this valuable time to what her. Do you, mean? you don't want to? Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Huh? Die? Sorry. That's just an old habit. Just pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> do you want to die? What? You know, such a habit existed. Well, anyway, I don't want to give up now. I finally started to think about how I can confront it. Okay. So if I have the train alone, so be it. Is anybody going to ask him what's really wrong? Um, Maybe it's just because you're not feeling well, but this is really unlike you, Kaido. I never imagined that you would obey Angie. I thought you'd do whatever you wanted. My bad. Shoot, I'm sorry. Can I leave the training to you until I'm feeling better? Uh, not, I nodded firmly, then chased after Maki and headed to the courtyard. I just don't think that... I don't think you can get sick in this place, is the thing. I mean, there, there's not even... There's not even any bugs in this place. Like, this place is freaking clean, you know? It's, it's really strange he's getting sick. It's, uh, it's not good. It's, it's very bad. Maki, about Kaido, you shouldn't worry about it. He's feeling a little weak because he's sick. I'm sure he's not... My body's stiffened on impulse. Ooh, I'm about to die. Maki's eyes and the entire aura surrounding her had completely changed. Her, her glare was blazing hot, yet icy cold at the same time. Her very essence was that of ice and fire. Uh, um... Maki? Her glare wasn't aimed at me. It was right past me. There's such intense hostility, meow. So is this your power? A normal person wouldn't would have passed out from that glare, meow. Huh? Tinko. I You probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away, meow. Well I'm not here to fight you. And I don't think you're here to enforce the curfew. Huh? That's right! That's right, Maki. I'm not I'm not here as a student I'm not here as a student council member, meow. I'm here to ask you a favor, a personal favor, uh, meow. Um, a favor from us? Hey. I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't seem brainwashed. Um, yeah, I'm not brainwashed at all, meow. What? She's just hanging around because of Miko, duh. Duh. Hey, girl, what's up? What's up? What's up, Thaz? How you hey. doing? Tinker, what are you talking about? I thought you believed in the Tua. No. I could never believe in Angie's God, meow. Huh? What? Listen up. I only believe in Akito. As long as I have that, I, can be, I can't be swayed by anything, meow. Keto values mental fortitude, and Akito moves a reflection of that fortitude, meow. Thanks to Akito, my mental fortitude is too mighty to succumb to Andy's brainwashing, meow. Then... So you just pretend to be brainwashed. Why would you do that? Hey. It's because you're worried about Himiko, aren't you? You pretend to be brainwashed to join the student council, right? Um... I think Himiko has gotten so lazy she's given up on thinking for herself, meow. That's why she's depending on Angie, but I think Angie is dangerous. Right. The student council idolizes Angie so much they don't see how dangerous she is, meow. That became clear... To me, after I infiltrated the student council, meow. And she truly believes in the Tua. She believes that she's under a Tua's protection, meow. That's why she does whatever she wants, meow. She, she thinks she's a Tua's vessel, so she doesn't feel guilty about anything she does, meow. Hmm. And that's why you want me to kill her. Huh? Well... Asking someone like me for a favor can only mean one thing. I, I won't deny that. I've wanted her gone even before all this happened, Meow. Yes! Yeah, we're thinking on the same wavelength now. Get rid of her. And I think everyone has wanted someone to die at least once in a lifetime. <laughs> once in their life, Meow. But going through with this is a different thing, Meow. It's wrong for a person to commit murder. It doesn't matter what the reason is, Meow. Well, Do you realize what, who you're talking to? <gasps> I'm sorry, that's not what I meant, Meow. I, I just want to stop Angie. The resurrection ritual is too dangerous to try, Meow. If we go along with Monokuma's motive, it could lead to another killing, meow. But... But the student council won't defy Angie, and I can't stop her on my own, meow. Please! That's why I came to ask you two. You're the only ones who can stop Angie, meow. Huh? Only us? Uh, yes. Well, obviously can't ask Kikichi, Mew, or, Ki or Kayo, and Kayo's not feeling well, you know, meow. That's true. You see, you didn't have many options. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Please! So please help me. You have to convince Angie not to perform the ritual, meow. I'm begging you! Meow. Tinko bowed down as deeply as she could. Meow. Well. 
Well then, let's go. Huh? Wait, we didn't answer yet. Uh, quit complaining and do this favor for me, you degenerate. Meow. <laughs> I'm even bound to you, and I would never do that for any male. Meow. That's not the best thing to say if someone needs a favor from. Meow. You're very sincere. I can tell that you've not used. You're not used to asking others for help. By the way. So what will you do, Suichi? This seems like something you'd ignore. Something I'd ignore. What do you? Th who do you think I am? No. no, I'll do it. I was just thinking is all. I agree with Tinko that it's dangerous to go along with Monokuma's motive. Hey, degenerate male! Then do something about it already. I thought males were supposed to be decisive, Meow. Sneak attack! I guess I'll forgive you though. Now let's com go convince Angie to gather Meow. She should be preparing for th the ritual right now in the Ultimate Artist Lab, Meow. Huh? It's probably locked. Together, I'm going to. Huh. Of course! I wouldn't ask just I wouldn't ask just Shuichi for help. I just agreed to help, and this is how you treat me? Oh well. I'll go to Angie's lab. Alright, got my booze my booze are in my pockets. So let's roll out. Wait, was that Kaido or or what, what, what are you just sitting out here, dude? You're like the only person that's out. I guess he just doesn't care about rules. He does whatever he wants. Where you at? Let me talk to you. Hey boy. Kokichi, what's up? Oh? This is an unusual group of people. Tenko, a student council pre uh, member, so I get why she's here. But Shuichi Maki, you guys even allowed to be here? It's already nighttime. Oh, it was just keeping watch for anyone out during nighttime hours. And then I caught these two roaming around, meow. Hi. Yep, I'm just doing my job as a student council member since I'm on the student council, meow. Tenko, you act that enthusiastic. You come across as suspicious. I'm ready! Okay, you go back to your room and sleep, meow. Mm. Oh, I see. You take your job very seriously. But you shouldn't lie. What? <laughs> <laughs> lie down the job, that is. <laughs> well, good night. <laughs> Do you think he could tell? Oh yeah. Who knows? It's hard to tell with him. He's always spouting random nonsense. Anyway, let's hurry. And he's in her lab, right? Ooh, spooky being here at night. Spooky, spooky, spooky. There's a lot. All right. All right. It's here. Just want to reach my hand towards the door. Oh wait, I'm pretty sure that door's locked. Meow. Locked. Ah. Oh. That's right. Angie did say she locked the rooms when she's working. I grabbed the doorknob anyway just to test it. I knew it. So it is locked. Got a minute. Move. Monkey pushed aside me and began pounding on the door. Hey. Angie, open this door now. Hey. Wait, Monkey, you can't do it like that. Stop being a little miss impatient. Then, then how should I do it? Um, Angie will only open the door when a student council member calls for me. To go turn back to the door and give it a few nervous knocks. Please. Angie, it's Tenko. I want to talk to you about something. Can you open the door, meow? Oh. Tenko? Yes. Yeah, it's me. After Tinko, the door flew open. Yaha! Can I help you? Huh? Oh, why are Shuichi and Maki here? Uh, um, oh. oh, I get it. You both want to join the student council, right? Then you'll need to get acquainted with the two. Uh, I'll introduce you to him. Please come in. No. That's not that. Well, oh, it went through her face. Let it go for now. We can talk inside. Yes, that's it. Well, I suppose. Invited by Angie, we step into her lab, but, but, we weren't prepared for what we were about to see. I wonder if Kaido feels bad because he's given blood to him and they need blood for the ritual. Just a thought. Maybe not, though. What's going on in here? Oh, Jesus Christ, he's made wax sculptures of them all. Creepy! Super creep. Super creepy. Huh? Uh, Kaede and Rontaro Kurumi Ryoma. I made them. Don't they look lifelike? Or are they just divine? You made them. Uh, yep. Yep, that is my very own handcrafted wax huh? effigies. Wax effigies? Of why? Course, of course. Why? For the, resu or the resurrection ritual, of course. Uh, According to the Necronomicon, we need an effigy of. D of the deceased to platform the ritual. Come on, come on. So I went ahead and made these. Uh, Simple dolls probably would have been better, but once I got to work, Atua took possession of me. <laughs> and before I knew it, I made these. What do you think? Are they amazing? Ew. Do you do such cruel things? How do you do so you do such cruel things so innocently? Uh, what? But it's incredible. For a second, I thought they were real. Yeah, just like the real thing, but Angie, could you please reconsider? Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Reconsider what exactly? Remember. The ritual that you're trying to do. 
Uh, I don't think you understand how bad that might be. Remember, this is what Monokuma's motives. He wants us to do it. It can't be good. Uh, but the dead can't really come back to life, so the people who died must still be alive. No. No, that's not possible. The bodies were not fakes. I'm positive, especially after seeing these wax effigies. The effigies were nearly perfect, but the real bodies still had traces of soul. Traces of soul. A soul despite to live, struggling, fighting for life. Yeah, that's Kaede. That's her death. Pretty gruesome. Something I can, that can never be replaced. No matter what technology you have, you can't fake a soul. That's true. Where Yoma, Kurumi, Rontaro, and Kaede are dead. Okay. I agree, we have no doubts their deaths were real. Trust me, I've seen my fair share of dead bodies. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. If that's what Maki says, then maybe they really are dead. Woohoo! Then if we do the ritual, will we actually resurrect the dead? What a miraculous mystery. Huh? This is stupid. What are you saying? Someone who has died can't be resurrected. But, but... But that's not what Atua says. He says if we do the ritual, everyone who has died up to now will come back. So if those four really are dead, then the resurrection ritual will surely work. <laughs> that must be right, because the two is never wrong. Um, You're not going to stop this, are you, of Meow? Of course, of course. Of course not. This is a two's will. <laughs> this is not. This is your will, not a two's. Nope. No, it's a two's. A two told me that our friends will come back to life if we do this ritual. So we have to do it. We can't defy direct command from a Tua. Or else we'll get punished, you know? Uh, You're probably still worried about the motive, Suichi, but it's okay. Has spoken. Nothing bad will happen as long as you put aside any thoughts of escape. That's so. Then there's no point in talking anymore. Uh, Are you done talking now? Because I'm still busy preparing for the ritual. Yeah. If you're gonna sl if you're gonna slow me down, I'll turn you into wax effigy. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tinko, let's go back for now. I think we may need another plan. Yes. Okay. Meow. After failing to persuade Angie, we reluctantly left the lab. It's already not time, so please be careful on your way back to your rooms. Right, right. Oh, and uh -oh. it's safe to say that Tenko has betrayed the student council, right? Huh? But, but. It's okay, it's okay. I forgive you because Atua forgives you. He's such a softie, you know. Atua. I hope you will recommit yourself to the student council and help us make this place our paradise. Uh, yes. Yeah. What's going on? Why are Shuichi and Maki here? They're not on the student council and it's nighttime. Tinko, it'll be okay. Oh, it's nothing. Tinko simply betrayed the student council and brought these two to change my mind. Yeah. She betrayed us. That sounds like a big problem, but if you're saying it's nothing, then... Yeah. And you really are loved by Atua. Jeez. Oh, and you were loved by Atua in return, Miko. Yeah. Stop it, you're making me blush. Cut it out already! Enough already, meow! Tinko walked towards Miko and gripped her firmly by her shoulders. Yeah. Please snap out of it. Are you a mage, Meow? It hurts. Let me go. Miko, why can't you see that you've been brainwashed, Meow? You can't even see that? Then you're not a real mage at all, Meow. What was that? Oh, mind control magic. Yeah, th tell her it's mind control magic. What's wrong? Feeling angry? If you are, then show it, Meow. Miko! Get mad. Get upset. Yell at me. Just fight back already. Do something, Meow. Uh, Tinko, um, let's just leave it be for now. Huh? I'm sorry. I can't believe I just yelled at you, Meow. Uh, you must be tired, Tinko. I think it would be best if you got some rest. Bye, Yonara. Sounds good. Until then, I'll continue my preparations and welcome back our friend. Miko didn't look Tinko in the, in the eyes. Oh, our feelings are hurt. After leaving Angie's lab, the three of us returned to the dorms. Whew. Um, Tinko, are you okay? Uh, Apparently not. I said all those horrible things to Miko, and now I don't know what to do. Meow. Uh, no, she ne she never hate me, but she devote but she'll demote me from best friend to just a friend. Meow. You guys are best friends. Uh, no. Well, if you round up the nearest the whole numbers, we're basically best friends. Meow. I feel like you're rounding up a little too much there. Well. Well, if you apologize, I'm sure she'll understand. Right. That's right. We'll be like old married couple once we overcome the rough patch. Meow. Well, that's a quick turnaround. Mm. You should let Shuichi teach you how to apologize. He's really good at it. No. Really? That's the first time I've heard that. Piece of cake. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll use my own words to apologize to Miko, meow. Well then, see you tomorrow. Good night, meow. Meow, meow, meow. 
Is the meows annoying you? I hope so. Waving happily, Tinko returned to her room. Uh, she bounced back rather fast. I guess I didn't need to worry. Oh, uh, you were worried? What? Huh? Is it weird for me to worry? Do you want to die? Oh, God. Huh? There's that habit again. I was supposed on the positive side, she's able to act more like herself around me. Well, what about the ritual? Have you given up on persuading Angie? No. I don't want to give up. Let's change your mind. Uh, but changing your mind will require less orthodox methods. I need to think of another way. Hmm. Less orthodox methods. Got it. I'll think about it. We gotta show her. We gotta show her. Two is not real. Hmm. So Maki's going to think about it too, huh? I didn't expect that. But I'm glad. Especially now that I'm able to talk with things more with Maki. I don't know a lot about this place, but I don't know a lot about anyone either. That could be a good thing. Or it could be a bad thing. <laughs> Monokuma Theater. <laughs> there he goes. Monodam's. He's doing all the movies. In a past life, I was a fish. I grew up in a pond in a rural town, but I always dreamed of the city. One day, my parents were feeding, I ran off to the city. Luckily, I was caught by a rich person who let me attend human school. But the other kids bullied me. They bullied me for silly reasons. Because of my odor. Because of my how- Because of how would I flop around on my desk. And because of the way my mouth opened and closed as if I was dying. The trauma of my past life haunts me to this day. <laughs> That's why I can never forgive bullying. <laughs> he ran away from home as a fish and met some rich people. Is it, wait, is this like a, a gumball reference? But they're not rich. I swore in my past life that I'll get along with everyone. Amazing. Bing bong. Monokuma still just standing there. Man. Ding dong. Ding dong. Huh? The intercom. This who could it be? Oh, hey, girl! You've been visiting me a lot. We should have some friendship things going on here. Actually, you need to be you need to be waifu number two, since you know original waifu is now like off the list because she loves the two more than me. What's that face? You look, you just woke up. Huh? Oh, that's her talking. I did just wake up, and the announcement was just a minute ago. No. You wake up to that? If you rely on that announcement as your alarm clock, you start getting used to this place. Uh, okay. Well, I suppose that's true. <sighs> It's fine. Let's just stop the ritual. Huh? Kaido. Okay. I heard from Maki Roll. It seems Angie's going to the ritual. <laughs> ah, she's now she's now Maki Roll. What? Maki Roll. Don't give me such a weird nickname. Oh. You brought Kaido here, Maki. Why? Is that weird? We need a backup plan in, in case the straightforward approach fails. Who better than Kaido for a less than straightforward approach? Oh. approach. But Kaido, are you feeling okay? <laughs> I don't have time to be worried about me. We gotta put a stop to this ridiculous resurrect and the dead crap. And then we can finally drop this topic or else I'm not gonna last. I'm not gonna last. Kaido, are you um, scared? Huh? Could be it. I mean, he just says he hasn't been sleeping. I think he's worried about who's coming back. I just remember that you don't like talking about ghosts and stuff. Because. Now that I think about it, you've been acting strange. Is he scared of ghosts? We've been talking about resurrecting the dead. Shut up! Uh, don't be stupid! There's no way! Uh, um, so I was right. Are you, are you seriously scared of ghosts? That's why he's so sick? A what a lame... What a lame reason. Come on! He's supposed to be getting poisoned and I gotta figure out why he died. Wait, you mean the reason you didn't come to training because you were scared? So... It's not that I'm scared, it's just how my body is. It's fine when it comes to cramped areas, space, and zero gravity, but ghost stories. <sighs> Since I was a kid, whenever I heard them, I started to feel sick. Jesus Christ. Shaggy! He's shaggy! He's shaggy! He's scared of everything. And he doesn't wear his jacket right, he just puts it over his shoulders. Kaido was looking more and more pale as he spoke. Damn it. Because of that, I haven't been able to eat or sleep since the, all that crap started. Mm. So that's what happened. Okay. So let's hurry up and stop, Angie, so we can put an end to all the spooky stuff. Things get scary or seriously die from a heart attack. <laughs> She's just like... Why are you looking at me like that? Unbelievable. You always act like you're not afraid of anything. Shut up! Shut up! Let's just go and stop Angie already. Come on, bro. Come on, Maki Roll. Hurry up! I told you. Seriously, don't call me Maki Roll. Um, anyway, let's go to Angie's lab. Poor guy. He's so scared. Amiko, what's up? You guarding the door? You guys again? Why? Amiko, why are you here? You keeping watch this whole time? I don't want to do something like that. It sounds like a pain. I just came back to check on Angie. You. So what do you guys want? Don't tell me you came to stop Angie again. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because the ritual is Monokuma's motive, we shouldn't just let it happen. Okay. That's exactly right. It's not because I'm scared or anything, okay? Sure. Whatever. But it's good that you're here. 
She won't open the door for anyone but the member of the student council, right? So tell Angie to open it for us. That's not possible. Not possible? I wanted to ask her how the ritual went. I've been calling to her. But she must really be into her work. She won't come out. Is that so? She won't come out, eh? Huh? Won't come out. Are you sure? Are you sure she's in there? She should be inside, but this door and the back door are locked. Huh? Both doors are locked. I grabbed the doorknob and tried to turn it. It really is locked. But these doors only lock from the inside. Which means there's definitely someone in there. Any response? Not true. The cylinder door you can lock and then close on your way out. No. Actually, no. Maybe she's sleeping. No answer. Kimiko. Kimiko, we need to get inside right now. Okay. Why? But well, you know, even if we wanted to check, it's locked, so we can't do... I see. I heard everything. I'm just as shocked as you are about what tabloids are reporting. What? You obviously didn't hear anything at all. You. Where did you come from? Um, a little bird told me that you would be a good time... Uh, be a good time to bust out my trick. Kiki's trick. Uh, uh, the lot picking. Uh, the lot picking. Hey. During the exit meet and greet, he said he could lot pick. Yeah, open the door. You want me to pick open this door, huh? Hmm, let me see. Get you a bit over and peek to the keyhole of the doorknob. Uh, oh, that's a cylinder lock. Now, this type of lock is perfect for lot picking. Um, yes, please, Kokichi, open the door. Uh, it's rude to pick a lock without permission. Kimiko. Now's the time for that. Something might happen to Angie. Yeah. Don't worry about that, Kokichi. Hurry up and open the door. Sorry, Miko. I'm not in this because you three are threatening me. Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them in the keyhole of the lock. Click, 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 clack. See? There, open says me. Huh? That's simple. <laughs> not to brag, but I know, but but I but I am the supreme leader, you know. Well, well, picking seems more suited to petty thieves. You got me. Uh, that cuts real deep, Maki. Right. Let's get inside. I'm worried about Angie. You're right. All right, let me in that door. Let me in that door. Is she dead? We touched the door and I realized my palms are sweating from fear. Fear, why am I nervous? Turn the door and push the open and saw. Okay. They're all just hanging upside down. Dun dun dun! Oh my! Oh my! Ding dong ding ding and that is gonna be the end of this episode <laughs> Angie's dead. I'm so happy, but hopefully I don't lose one of my my fantastic waifus in the process Thank you guys very much. See you guys next time until then Stay those